Hello everyone, and uh, this is Sean here. Welcome back to my uh, channel. Uh, back with you know, another uh, traditional wet shaving video. In this uh, video today, I'm going to be uh, reviewing this. The uh, Florence scent from uh, Mondial. It's a, a traditional uh, luxury shaving cream from Italy. And uh, I actually had the opportunity to uh, use this prior to uh, the shooting of this video. And um, it is, uh, it works pretty much like a uh, shaving soap in terms of how you have to uh, lather it. And uh, the scent is quite refreshing, but uh, I'll go through the step-by-step uh, -step process on uh, how to shave the face, uh, apply the aftershave, etc. So, um, before uh, we get started, I would just like to um, read off in verbatim what the... Uh, FenderHen.ca website has to say about uh, this particular product and I'll just uh, read uh, the details off in verba verbatim. <clears throat> this first gives a, a description of the company. Mondial brings old school charm back into the spotlight with its traditional luxury shaving cream. Inspired by ars artisans, this collection is formulated according to long established methods that produces a generous lather and leaves a nourishing cushion on skin, minimizing irritation. Using natural ingredients like coconut oil, the cream gives a close shave and uses essential oils to create sophisticated scents that will bring Italian elegance to life. Preservative and par paraben-free, this shaving cream performs best when used with a shaving brush. And that's uh, what we'll use today. And uh, what it has to say about this uh, particular scent Florence. It's a signature of fragrance that blends fresh notes of bergamot and lemon with warm hints of cedar, sandalwood, and patchouli. And it goes on to uh, describe the uh, company itself. Founded in 1908, Mondial provides traditional shaving and grooming products. Starting from a small workshop in the heart of Florence, the small family business has been in operation for four generations. Originally produces of handcrafted luxury wood, shaving brushes, and safety razors. Mondial partnered with another local artisan and developed their new, their now renowned collection of artisanal shaving soaps. So, there you have it. I've actually I've been to uh, Florence, Italy myself uh, once back in April of 2008. And uh, yes, quite a rustic. Uh, little metropolis, I must say. So, anyway, um, let's get started with the uh, shave. I'll go ahead and uh, produce the lather. Yeah. Here we go, it looks very much like a uh, soap, as opposed to a cream. And the uh, shaving brush I'll be using today is my synthetic from True Fit and Hill. I find that for these particular uh, creams, a synthetic uh, shaving brush works best to uh, generate such rich lather. And uh, the razor will be uh, this, some Merker 34C, equipped with a, a fresh derby blade. And of course, this video would not be complete without uh, the Mondial uh, Florence scented aftershave, which I feel is of course, it's pretty appropriate to apply for this uh, partic after uh, using this particular shaving uh, cream. So we'll go ahead and uh, start with the lather. Yeah, generating a lot of bubbles as you as you can see. Feels as if you really have to lather hard to generate a nice rich lather that's thick.
go to all this and I'll go ahead and uh, well first I need to rinse my face with water and I'll do that right now Go ahead and apply the lather to my face. So how's everybody doing today? It's a nice um, hot summer day here in Ontario, Canada. And um, wherever you are in the world, Right now, uh, I hope the uh, weather is uh, serving you well. Mm. Okay, there. I think the lather's good enough. Yeah. Can smell the uh, hints of uh, citrus. This uh, crisp scent. Okay, first pass with the green. Lather, the cream is doing its job in protecting my skin from irritation. Yeah, razor's working well, but it's doing its job. So, that is very good. So, uh, still in the midst of this uh, coronavirus pandemic, so I hope you're all staying safe, taking the proper precautions. Yes, I'll do uh, three passes for the purposes of this video. Hmm. Yeah, I chose uh, to shave with derby blades today because I find that uh, shaving with uh, soaps tends to leave a little more irritation to the face. So.
I prefer something uh, a little more mild to use. And Derby blades are great for their mildness. Yeah, try not to uh, press too hard against the skin. Yeah, so this uh, particular bland, mon brand, <laughs> Mondial, they have uh, various, uh, various other uh, products too. They have uh, a traditional shaving cream by the name of Noblis. I might uh, try that one out in the future. There, yeah, first pass done. Rinse off, prepare for the second pass. There we go. Just apply the lather. And it's always important to Whenever you're uh, applying uh, the lather to the face, always go start out in a circular motion for proper exfoliation of the skin. Then afterwards I paint my face sideways across the grain. Then uh, afterwards I'll go up, I'll paint up, just to make sure the uh, leather really gets applied. Okay, there we go. Okay, second pass, cross grain. Yeah. Yeah. 
cream is definitely doing its job in protecting my uh, face against irritation. Now, of course, uh, a lot of uh, creams and soaps have their own unique uh, scents, but I can uh, certainly uh, distinguish uh, the uniqueness from uh, all the other creams I've used. Uh, and say this uh, particular cream is indeed unique. in terms of its scent. portion here. Yeah. Yeah, this cream is providing comfort. I didn't want to use a, a sharp blade, like a, say like a feather blade for this video. Although I quite like them. But I find that whenever I use uh, shaving uh, soap kind of creams, uh, the uh, sharper the blade, uh, the more irritation I get. Okay, there we go. Second pass complete. Just lather up one more time. Squeeze the rest of this out. Apply it, apply it evenly.
There we go. Okay, third pass against the green. These feels nice and smooth. Certainly looking forward to uh, applying the aftershave. See um, the aftershave. Well, it's quite strong, and the uh, scent lasts for hours. Feeling nice. Great too.
Okay, there. I moved just a couple of spots here and there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna rinse off my face and uh, apply the lather. I mean, the uh, aftershave. Now, time to apply this. Yeah, it's really strong. Okay. Mm. Oh, there we go, yeah. Quite refreshing. All right, there you have it. All right, so, overall, not a bad product. Although, um, I think uh, this company also sells uh, soft shaving creams, which is, I think, uh, I'd personally go with. And uh, as for this particular uh, cream itself, see, the, I've only used shave with this a couple of times and yep, barely uh, scratched the uh, surface uh, of it, meaning that uh, this uh, can last, this will last one a very long time. Uh, a year or two if they uh, shaved with this consistently every single day. So, um, yep, not a bad product. I give it a 7.5 out of 10 because uh, I think uh, a shaving cream will do uh, a better job at uh, exfoliating my uh, face while applying a lather and uh, protecting my uh, skin against uh, the razors. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, recap what we've used today. Okay. It's the uh, Mondial shaving cream. Florence scent. Today's brush was uh, the uh, synthetic from True Fit and Hill. The uh, Florence scented uh, aftershave from Mondial. And uh, the Mercury 34 equipped with a derby blade. Alright, so that's it. Uh, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, I do wish you well. Um, stay safe um, and I will just uh, conclude by saying 
peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.